Hello, this is IT. How can I help you? Hi. Hi. Yes, thank you. Uh, I am having some difficulty today. Uh, I, I'm trying to set the parental controls on my family's PC at a level that I find appropriate. And uh, I'm just having some difficulty with that. And I, I am hoping you can help me out today. Okay. First question. Do you have children? Yes. Uh, one of the reasons I, I wanted to do this is uh, to access the parental controls is that I am a father. Yes. Okay. Sometimes people just want parental controls because they're really sensitive to the media. So I wanted to make sure there were children present. Mm -hmm. uh, that changes my next question. Um, what is it that's very bad you don't want your kids to see? So we have a family PC that we keep uh, adjacent to the kitchenette. And, oh, okay. Um, my, yeah, a lot of people have something similar. And my, my son was streaming an anime called Doki Doki Muji. And I was passing by and I, I've seen him watch this anime before, but there was a bare bottom on screen. Oh my and, God. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how, how I can make sure this never happens again. Did you see both cheeks or just one? The, I, I, you know, hand on the Bible, I didn't want to look too much longer than I had to. So I, I'm pretty sure both cheeks were present, but I, I can't be sure. I just don't want it to happen again. Okay. So do you, um, do you want to block all anime or just this, uh, this one particular? Yeah. I mean, I'd like to start with uh, blocking uh, this particular episode, but I'm really trying to figure out how to, how to delete it from the service. Um, you I'd like it off of Netflix. Okay, you want me to call Netflix and tell them to take down the show permanently? Yeah, I do, I'm not a technical guy. Like, obviously, that's why I'm calling you. But I, I would appreciate it if, if you can just make sure no one sees this. Okay, um, I don't really have any connections in Netflix. I might know a guy who knows a guy. Um, but it's a really long process to remove content from a streaming platform. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard what happened to Joe Rogan and Neil Young, but it was a whole thing. So it might be a no. little tough. No, I'm unfamiliar with both of those people. Okay, um, I would suggest starting your own hashtag. Okay. Uh, something catchy, uh, like, uh, I don't know, I'm not really good at this, maybe like uh, hashtag no butts or uh, anime. Excuse not, me? Did anime. you just curse? No, I said no butts. Is that a curse? I'm sorry. I should. Yeah, turn on can you please say bare bottom? Bare bottom, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe say uh, hashtag anime not a fanime and then see if maybe that helps get some traction in the I mean I appreciate this uh, blue sky brainstorm session but I'm sure there's a little switch that you can push uh, just to delete it from the from the site um, well, there's you know. a lot of switches there's not a particular bare bottom switch okay. um, there uh, there is an anime switch but All then right. there good ones that your child's missing out on and will resent you forever and I don't really want to oh, get mixed wow. up uh, yeah well, Kids I think are those are those are the tough decisions that a, a parent has to make. I guess, like, if you can't help me with this, I do. I have a I have another uh, issue. Uh, I'd all, oh. I came across. I was on the computer this time. Um, uh oh. I was surfing. Yeah, it, it, it can be a strange and difficult place, but I, I I'm I'm pretty good at navigating it. I will say. Um, yeah, but you Google these days. There's a lot of stuff. So we yeah. Don't... Well, that's that was kind of the problem. I was googling around and I came across a picture, an image on the internet of a rooster with dropsy and it was unsettling. So with if you can if you can delete that image from the web for me so that no one has to go through that feeling of uncomfortability that I did, that would be great. So is dropsy like a key that you play a song in like drop D or what's drop No, it's a it's a medical condition this rooster had where oh. uh just at the at the uh, very startling sound uh, or even sometimes just because uh, of, of the chemical balance in its body, it'll just fall to the ground on unprovoked. So oh. it, it really, it really took me for a loop and I, I don't want to look at it again. Okay. Um, well, we're dealing with medical images and that might be something I need to talk to the CDC or Dr. Fauci about. Um, look, I, I'm sorry. I told you, I don't care how it gets done. I'm not a big technical guy. I just would like you to flip the switch that deletes it from the internet. Um, there's not really too, I mean, there's not like physical switches. Um, it's more digital. So it's okay. more, you have a visual of what I'm looking at. It's a screen with a lot of buttons. So not a switch, just so you know, it's not like a light switch. I wish it was that easy. I'm kind yeah, of Yeah, like, yeah, me too. Because I don't want to see these images ever again. And I don't oh, want anyone else to. Okay. Um, well, uh, okay. Um, what, what was your name? I'm sorry. I'm rude. What was your name? Oh, my name's Greg. I'm sorry. Greg. What's Greg. 
Do you have kids, Greg? Don't no. I haven't found the right lady that let me do that to her. If you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> a little inappropriate, but well, I Greg, know. you you will one day you will have a kid. You will have a. I have a, a son. He's a obviously uh, there's there's some issues. He's a little pervert watching uh, bare bottoms, but you will know what it's like to have to protect a young mind. Uh, and when that happens, I, I hope you have the resolve to push the button, whether it's digital or flip the switch, uh, because there's a lot, I, I, there's a lot on this internet I need deleted. So I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep going for you here. I, I uh, came across, have you ever been to epicurious.com? Uh, no, but I'm epicurious to what that means. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a very good pun. Exactly. It's very funny. Right. Um, it's a, a recipe site. I came across a recipe for blintzes that disgusted me. What's a blint? Never heard of it. A blintz? Yeah. Uh, it's like a, a dumpling, kind of <coughs> kind of like a Polish egg roll. And inside oh, okay. there's um, kind of sweet cottage cheese, my ricotta, if you will. And inside, oh. of, it's, a, it's a very like Eastern European. This recipe disgusted me, Greg. And it needs to be deleted immediately from the internet. Is it because you don't prefer sweet egg rolls? You're more of a savory guy? There, it, it the the picture was not appetizing. First of all, I am I'm a sweet. Sometimes I like sweet. Sometimes I like savory. But really, the issue I, it, it was was the you should not have black pepper in a blintz. It's okay. it's foul. It's it's an affront. It's too spicy. It is too spicy. I have a was, very sensitive palate. Was it fresh cracked or the stale kind? I don't know. It's a still image. I, oh, I don't okay. Know. Yeah, if it was cracked. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes if the pieces are different shapes and sizes, you know, it's freshly cracked. And if they're all you form almost like small squares. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. (laughs) Just delete the image, Greg. Just get it off the web. No one needs to see it. So you might need to go to the source of the website and report the image is inappropriate. No, I'm telling you, this is a good thing you can do. Report everything that you don't like is inappropriate. Greg, you don't think I report it? I I, my My mouse is worn down. Yeah, I report every, uh, half, half the things I look at have been reported. All right, there's a lot of garbage. Have you been on this internet? Oh yeah, it's a scary place. I'm behind the scenes, you know, and I, you know, I'm scared of a lot of it. But good on you reporting. You know, see something, say that's good. Thank you. What, what, you. what do you What do you do on the internet, Greg? Uh, I mostly um, uh, uh, Google uh, IT questions, or I also um, I prefer. I uh, do you remember Neopets? Yeah, yeah. Oh my I gosh. Do. Get your son on the Neopets. There's no bare bottoms on there. It's great. Uh, I I don't know. A Neopet's a lot of responsibility. It is, but it's going to teach your son responsibility, right? You know, like if he finds a lady, she can't take care of him forever. He's got to know how to feed his own pet and, you yeah. know, go to the I, arenas and stuff. I make him chop firewood. Um, oh, I that- make him do some tasks around the house. Do you live in a rural area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're out uh, we're out a bit on a. We have three acres here and a, a pretty decent dial-up connection. So I'd say we're living. Oh, that's good. Because yeah. I was gonna suggest you could just unplug your internet and not plug it back in, and mm. then you don't have any of these problems. Usually they say plug it back in if you're getting issues with the connection, but if you've got too much connection out there, maybe just don't plug it back. That is interesting, but it is it is tough. We you know we do use this as a way to to stay in touch with the world. We we do isolate ourselves from most people and most things. Before the pandemic, you were isolating. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, good. There's a lot of sin in this world. There's a lot. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> yeah, that, that felt good to hear. A lot yeah. of people look at me like uh, I don't know. They look a little sideways at me sometimes. So it's nice to know another like-minded person who who is is here in the struggle. Uh, with me against the evils and sins on this screen well you know people who look sideways are just too scared to make eye contact so that's their problem okay oh, really? don't take it personally yeah okay. wow. that's what my mom used to say oh, that's, yeah, it sounds like a, a very wonderful woman Greg. no she's a wise lady greg i need you to delete godzilla versus kong from hbo max uh don't care it it, it is two giant beasts um, yeah and we know what the metaphor is there they're fighting each other for supremacy and mm-hmm. uh, I'd like it taken off the internet. Would you like it if they were smaller beasts? Hmm. Hmm. Is like it this? What, what would you say? What type of beast? Um. What if they were like like Lego people size? Wouldn't that be oh. adorable? And they're trying to fight and take down these buildings. That's pretty these, funny. Like Lego uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah. Wow. Maybe I could do that. I got ideas. 
Yeah, do they? Uh, I guess it depends. Uh, like, uh, is it the same? Do they serve the same function? Like, are they? You know, is Godzilla powered by nuclear cores in the Earth, and is Kong a, a, a still a giant monkey, or are they mini sized? They're exactly the same, but they're shrunk, so they're small. So people see him fighting on the street, and they're like, "That's adorable." Maybe they'll throw a couple bucks at him. You know, like it's almost like a like street performance at this point. It's ridiculous. Wait, okay, so. Sorry, you're painting a beautiful picture, but I, I need a little more detail here. So they're, the, we, the people, are big, and they are tiny Legos fighting? Yeah, we're the size that we are now. Um, but you could your imagination. You could be bigger or smaller mm -hmm. or in certain areas or whatever. And then the, 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 the monsters themselves are the size of the Lego figures. So they're not even a threat. They're just adorable. Wow, that's pretty. Greg, do you, uh, do you have a, a home video camera? Um, I have uh, an old VHS type uh, camera, so I record wow. straight onto the VHS. I feel then... like this is this. You could make this. This could be. Sure. A, this could be a, a movie that you helm. Wow, I mean, I'm not gonna brag. I got quite an impressive Lego collection. So yeah. I'm, I think you're onto something. You hit that minifig store. The minifig. Yeah, the little Lego mini fig. Oh, you said fig is a figurine. I thought you meant like the little fruits, you know, fig. <laughs> I'm like, what? They're even smaller? They're already small. What are we doing? <laughs> Greg, we're connecting. I feel I think, a good, I feel a real good connection here. Yeah, I think we just made a a, a, a million dollar movie, right? Here. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, I wouldn't delete that. If that, v, if that VHS tape, <laughs> tape showed up on my doorstep, I wouldn't delete it. Oh my God. Well, you know, if you send me your address, I can definitely, you know, send you a rough copy or whatever. No pressure. I don't make it weird. Enough. No, no, no. Please do. Please do. Uh, Greg, I, I hate to ask another, another question. I do need I'm more help. Uh, I, I don't own this NFT, but I came across it. Are can you, you familiar with NFTs? The, the acronym NFT? Yeah, it's a non-fungible token. It, I, I came across it. My son, he sometimes goes on uh, Reddit and it was just a tab that was left open and I went down a bit of a rabbit hole. Um, it's an NFT. It's, a, it's an image. It's a still image. Um, okay. It's a horse. Uh, it's a horse eating, eating three cake donuts. It, <laughs> it, it, sh it shook me to my core. <laughs> no, don't laugh. This isn't funny, oh, sorry. Greg. Sorry. I was just thinking oh. their diet. I don't think they're built for donuts. Continue. Yeah, he was eating three cake donuts, and I, uh, it, it turned, it turned me. It, my stomach, my stomach made sick. Oh, I need, I need to delete it. But the problem here is, Greg, I don't own this NFT. How do you okay. delete an NFT that you don't own? How do you take it out of this world? Okay, um, I have a question. Um, is your son growing a neck beard? My son? No, yes. he's he's a seven year old. Oh, okay. Well, you mentioned Reddit. I just didn't know if he was, you know. No, he's heavy. He's 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 kind of a big deal on Reddit, but he he does not have a uh, he he doesn't have the ability to grow a beard. Okay, your son doesn't identify as an incel or anything. A what? Uh, now now the students becoming the teacher. <laughs> yeah, no, I I don't. I'm I, like I said, I'm just a simple a simple man. Okay, uh, an incel is an involunt involuntary uh, celibate person. So basically, men that can't get ladies blame it on women for their oh, poor. Interesting. I thought you were like uh, my my wife Margaret is that seemed to describe she she is involunt she is she does not sleep with anyone. Does she sleep alone in a single bed? Yes, we sleep in separate bedrooms. Okay, how did you? I mean, this is too personal. I'm not going to ask you how you made a kid like that, but um... no, no, no. There was a time where we were intimate. Uh, oh, okay. I would, I would uh, come in a coffee mug and slip oh. it uh, in front of the door. She would wake up, and so we tr we tried for several months to get pregnant. Yeah, the coffee mug might have been a, a little bit of a difficult vessel. I would try a turkey baster next time if you have a second oh, kid. Wow, <laughs> I also... mind, mind blown, mind blown. But I, I really don't care for turkey basters. And if you could also, if you Google search turkey baster, just delete no. that whole thing from the web oh no that's out of here um it sounds like your wife might be a voluntary celibate instead oh. of involuntary. made the choice okay yeah. she did make that choice yeah <laughs> wait so then if you're involuntary you're no one what oh, oh my god yeah you want to be uh not celibate but okay. you sell because people don't want to uh sleep with you all right well my seven-year-old is not uh it's not he's not at an age where that's an issue okay that's either good. way I when he said Reddit, I had to ask those two questions because um, okay. 
free slope. If you notice some stubble on his neck or chin area, uh, I might suggest maybe letting him get a little time off already. He might get on the wrong pages there. All right. If, <laughs> if that happens, I'll call back, Greg. I'll call you back. Oh, yeah, please. Please. My direct line. My extension is 0051. So please uh, use that extension anytime. Okay. I got you. Great. I'm writing it down. So it was an NFT, which is a non- Fungible? Yeah, non-fungible token. It's uh, supposed to be worth a lot of money. I can't afford it. Uh, this is a, this is a picture that looks through your soul and digests it. I don't want it anywhere near any other impressionable minds. But I I can't seem to delete it. I don't have the money to buy it. I need nope. help, Greg. So, do you have any funges saved and uh, saved up? Um, I I don't. I don't know if that's a thing. Because non-fungible so kind of, you know, poses a question that some things are fungible. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what fungible means. You don't uh, need to know to delete it. You've okay. got the power here, Greg. You've got those little digi buttons, the digital buttons. Yeah, uh, I do. Um, but I think with an, uh, so is it a token as in a coin like Mario? I think it's a token in the sense of currency. So this oh. image is currency and it must wow. be destroyed at all costs. Oh, I don't know if we can destroy currency, isn't it? Like energy, it can't be created or destroyed. Well, we print money, so we could probably get rid of it. That's no, fair. No, I've uh, believe me, I've deleted money. There was a lot. There's a lot oh. of unsavory money on this web, uh, okay. and I I've deleted the hell out of it. Okay. Uh, I burn. I burn most of my money. Oh well, good for you. You got a fire pit. You got logs and all that. So that's yeah, good. it keeps us warm. And we, you know, we're a, a bit away from most civilization. You know, as, as you would call civilization, I feel like we have a pretty thriving community here in the woods. Mm. But I, I do tend to burn burn money as it, it, it needs to be deleted sometimes. Yeah. Um, have you tried? Um, have you? Because sometimes they make like, yeah. uh, you know, they draw a genital on Washington's face, or oh, there's certain yeah. things that are it's just not appropriate. So I have to burn it, and most money is desecrated. That's oh, true. Lord. I the things that these dollars have seen. No, it's true. And if you fold them the right way, you get the twin towers. It's a whole thing. Oh my God. Are down the rabbit hole of money and burning. <laughs> you know, I hated to see them go, but it was nice to know that at least uh, they were deleted. The towers were deleted. The, the towers were deleted. Yes. Uh, so there is a little solace in that to know that, you know, there, there's no other impressionable minds that are going to see those towers. Yes. Um. So for as far as a non-fungible token, um, have you tried printing an image of it and burning that has that well it doesn't delete the source okay That's... this is a horse this is a beast of majesty all right if, i don't know if you've ever looked at the muscles uh that kind of connect the what would be a horse's shoulders to its stern i don't know if there's a different name for a horse shoulder because it doesn't have a joint in the way our shoulders do but those yeah. muscles my god yeah they're they, very... they shouldn't be seen do you think it's too sexually graphic I think it is. There is a point where the human mind is aroused, and I, I think it is inappropriate. Is your son aroused, or is this more of a you thing? Are you projecting? I don't, I'm not your therapist. I'm just curious. Are you attracted to horses, or do you think your son's going to be one of those weird horse kids? Uh, first of all, Greg, I don't think there's such thing as a weird horse kid. I think okay. Horses are just something that we as humans are attracted to as like something that is a transportation device. Um, they're also the purest physical form uh, that God's created. So I think there's just a lot of reasons to that, that we are drawn to horses. Yeah, that's fair. Um, okay. It is fair. It is fair. But what isn't fair is that this picture cannot be seen by impressionable use. And Greg, mm -hmm. I need your help here. I don't okay. know how you do it, but you need to get in there. You need to find out who owns this NFT. You need to delete it. I want it gone because okay. this is a steamy pick. Yeah, no, that's interesting. You're telling me a lot of stuff right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so if no, you go, yeah. yeah, you're telling me a lot. I'm learning a lot. So if you uh, if you go to um, uh, go to your browser history, we should probably right. delete everything you've ever searched I'm first. Go in there. Oh, well, I yeah. yeah, that's a given. Yeah, I would do that probably daily, and then um, I would open the there's a tab for uh parental mm -hmm. uh control, and then you click that. Are you there? Okay, I'm there right now. And then um, you can say uh, block by uh, block by description. So you're gonna click that button, and then oh, actually hold on. It, it's actually telling me that there isn't enough processing space on my family PC. It seems like there isn't any space on the computer. 
there's so you're 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 you're, you're full of space uh, no it's it's filled to the brim it's not letting me do any more actions it seems like there's a a, a space issue on my my home my family pc okay um have you tried unplugging your computer and plugging it back i have i have uh but there's there's only essential items on this family pc so i i can't delete anything can you don't listen? Even, don't even ask me to do it. Oh, okay. I won't. I was I was gonna see if you're comfortable with this. No pressure. If you wanted to uh, list the essential items on there, and I can let you know. Um, there's some things that do multiple things. All right. Well, we have one folder on this family PC called "Daddy's Horses Don't Open," and we cannot okay. delete anything in there. It's and vital. That, oh, okay. That's the only folder that you have. It's the only folder. It's the only one we need. It's the only one Daddy needs. Okay. Um. That's interesting. Does your uh, wife use the computer ever? Uh, she has her own computer in her separate room. I slide the laptop underneath the door if we need to communicate. Okay. Mm. All right. So we don't we don't have the computer hooked up to the internet, so I can't instant message her. So I type on a Word document what oh. I need to say to her, and then I close the laptop. Our door frame is about an inch and a half above the ground, so there's enough room to slide the laptop back under. Then she opens it up, she adds to the document the answer to the query I've given her, and she slides oh. it right back. Okay, I like that. It's kind of like digital passing notes in school. You know? Yeah, it's kind of- yeah, it is. It is. School was fun. <laughs> it was yeah. a good time. Keep the romance alive. That's good. Yeah, it is. We 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 do. You know, we have fun. That's good. Separately. Um. So. Uh. Okay. So I'm. I'm. I. I don't want to be this guy because we're friends. But yeah, it sounds a big root of a lot of your storage space is gonna be daddy's horse picks don't open. Mm-hmm. So. Um. I would, I would say maybe, uh, oh, you got a thumb drive? Oh, I haven't asked this in a while. A floppy disk, maybe? I got a thumb. I, I do have a thumb drive. No, I, I've been trying to use these floppy disks for a while. They won't, they won't actually work with my current family's PC. <laughs> they're not as floppy as the name would no, suggest. No, no, no. They're actually hard as a rock. Yeah, they're, they're pretty tough. Yeah. Um, so I would take your thumb drive, and I would drag that folder to your thumb drive. Okay, and- I'm doing it now. Perfect. You just kind of drag the folder when it, yes, I look at it, it. Pop up and say thumb drive in, you know, inserted or whatever. And you drag the daddy's horse picks to the thumb drive icon. And then um, you should keep all those in the thumb drive, probably somewhere safe. Okay, I'm uh, doing it now. I'm doing then that's it. a secret stash. No one's got to open it. You don't even have to put do not open because you're the only one that has a thumb drive. Uh, maybe put it in the safe with your guns or something. And then okay. th- that'll free up uh, your computer so you can use a parental the parental locks I was telling you about. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah. So Thank if you can go back to that, you can just type in that box, everything that offends you. And then uh, okay. the computer will do the rest. And if okay. something flips through the filters, uh, you report it as inappropriate. And the computer is smart. It's like a muscle, you know, it learns uh, really fast and it'll know, uh, it'll start to catch the algorithm of what you find uh, appropriate or not. And it'll, it'll learn. Oh my God. Great. Faster Thank than you. Yeah, it's crazy. This is like computer learning. This is like yeah. AI stuff. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I I dragged the folder onto the thumb drive. Okay. It, it did not have enough space. I was able to get most oh. of the, the pictures over. And okay. Greg, I, be- I'm going to ask one more thing of you. Situation. Uh-huh. I need you to delete me. Oh, my God. <sighs> Okay. Wow. This is uh, intense. You need uh, to delete. You need to delete me. If I hang up the phone, you're still going to exist. So I can't really delete you on my. You find whatever digital button is on there. Look, I I've been putting up a good front, but I can't I I can't even keep my son from seeing a bare bottom on Doki Doki Mochi. Yeah, it sounds like your wife's really not interested anymore. No, she's not. It's yeah. f- The flame was extinguished. No, that 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 laptop note thing was really depressing. I was trying to unite. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so. Uh, uh, if you were hooked up to life support, I would suggest you unplug yourself and don't plug it back in. But uh-huh. I don't know if you're on a breathing machine right now. It sounds like you're breathing uh, manual <sighs> automatic. Yeah, Greg, just whatever digital button you got to hit, just do it. Just okay. release me. Delete me. I'm going to go find the Infinity Stones. And when I get that, okay. that glove, that gauntlet, the metal, the metal glove, I will snap you right out of here. I- I- I have seen one third of that movie before I had it deleted. So I get that. Reference. But you got the reference. I okay. did get the reference. Okay. You're a good I will man. Look at- You're a good man, Greg. I got you. Best of luck. Thank you. Goodbye.
Bye. Oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That was... What a man. <laughs> we were we were trying to cl like like cleanse the internet just now. <laughs> wow, really like really detailed like you know specific like okay it was <laughs> wow that was riveting all right <laughs> <laughs> that's great this is you both just knocked it out of the park this is great thank you for that that was a treat I oh. wanted us. I want us to keep going. I was going to like, oh, I could do like a part one, part two kind of thing. You know? <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Hi, I'm trying to guess who you are. <laughs> yeah, at first I thought Steve Moreno because he does kind of a voice like that. But then I was like, no, maybe it's white. Um, and then your laugh was like, give me some hints. Yeah. Oh, I want you to talk more. <laughs> do, we, do we turn our videos on now, Jaren? Is that what no, that no, 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 no. no. Uh, she, she would have to take a good guess. Uh, okay. Or just, you know, just tap out and then, uh, we'll, yeah, then the big reveal. I believe that's game show style right there. Oh, my God. Okay, are you, can I ask, like, yes or no questions? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, I've never done this, this uh, but you know what? It's allowed. Thank you for asking, though. <laughs> oh, sorry. I shouldn't have just stepped in and uh, controlled your show. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just hosting. That's all. <laughs> Nothing too big. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Are you a Portland comic? Uh, yes. Damn, okay. I thought maybe you were saying I'm coming. There's someone else who can. Okay. Um, <laughs> fuck. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> are you a white man? <laughs> uh, correct. <laughs> really narrowed it down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, now you're very close. <laughs> this is, mm -hmm. If this was guess who, you'd be right there. Wait, wait, that second question. Wait a second. Judges? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. Like you're, it's right on the tip of my tongue, but I can't. Okay. Um, hmm. Do you host any open mics? Uh, do not. I do not. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ouch. Do you host any shows? Do I, do I do shows? Do you, do you like specifically host a show or anything? Yeah, I do. Okay. Fuck. Oh my god, why do I not know? It's like there's like three people in my head. Okay. Um <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll just strike one, strike two, strike three. I like that. How about that? Okay. okay. Am I, am I last question or am I done? Because I feel like I'm fucking up. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. This is this is look, look, we, we close off the vision of our uh, you know, like there's no video. This is good. I like this. Oh my god. Um This is a riveting podcast, Jared. I, I you know, it's it's <laughs> Shit, dude, I fucking I don't know. I'm okay, trying. no worries. All right, all right, you ready? Well, let's uh, um, yeah, let's let's do the big reveal. But uh, hello, shit. Yeah, dude, <laughs> that's all right. How's it's it going? Okay. You already knew it was me. <laughs> I did. Oh boy. <laughs> Not very sneaky. Wait. Wait, hold on, Dylan. Like, how how did you know it was Amanda? Like, uh, I connected like the dots with the image. Oh, okay. Damn it. Like an icon on something that I've seen yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and then and then when like I would have gotten it after a while of talking. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it's a character I've done before. It's it's my favorite. Just nice. kind of I'm nice guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my that was gosh. Good, like really good questions because I wasn't sure where to go so I appreciate you leading it in directions I could like riff off of so. it was fun it was super fun I, I like to know that when you said stand up I was just like oh you know I was just like oh, if there's another way like another way you could like question that a bit I don't know but like yeah. but oh well it was, it was good though I, I, I like this uh kind of twist to the uh podcast because it's it's really really fun because uh what was it uh there was one uh time I was just like you know what these two might not know each other and then like but they've been on the show uh uh together or they've been um like an open mic or so and um, it was like Seattle. I think, oh yeah, Jill Silva and Thomas Lundy. Yeah. And then guess what? Networks right there. And it is like, oh, I'll, like, hopefully, yeah, right. we'll see you later. And like, yeah, exchange information and boom, you know, friendship. Yeah. Because, there was, yeah. No, it was right? super fun. Oh, that was great. 
yeah it was a good time so like um it's I, I i love it when you know like uh when we in the beginning it's just like all right let's see what happens and then it's just oh it just intensifies like later <laughs> on so uh it's lovely so all right so let's get into it so uh I, let's start off with yeah dylan so when you were um when i mean how did you came across to do like those the the idea like just you just want like like just delete everything that's like n- like it's such a big problem in your life and then, uh, like it's yeah, I just I guess I was just like I was thinking that parental controls would be like a funny IT problem, mm-hmm. and then I just was thinking that it would be fun to just ask someone to to remove it from the internet completely. <laughs> yeah, and, and then it, um, but I like I like how you went into like into like more examples. Like I was just like, man, like. <laughs> well, so like um, was it something? Uh, was it like um. Uh, well, like, how did you start, like, with the, like, um, parental, like, controls? Was it something, like, uh, that happened to you before, or? Uh, I am spending more time around, so, like, I have a couple friends that moved to town during the pandemic who have kids. So right. I've been around, kind of, kid uh, content consumption a lot more recently. So I think mm-hmm. it was just in my brain a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that, oh, how, you know, they do need to monitor that <laughs> at some level. <laughs> Dude, dude, yeah, I, I had I had a joke about that because I had a friend um, in Staten Island. Uh, he yeah, he has everything hooked up to like a uh, um, Alexa, Alexa this, Alexa that, and the kid mm. is like four and knows how to use like you know like Alexa and stuff like that. So they can't lie like where like Santa like uh like where this <laughs> is Santa's real and stuff like that or like you know like um what sex is and stuff. So like. <laughs> I just thought, like, if the kid heard, like, everything, what, you know, Alexa say, just, like, what's reproduction means, you know? And then just, like, yeah. um, their parents are waiting, just, like, what, you lied to me. <laughs> uh, it's no bird coming down with a with a baby. <laughs> yeah, I babysat a kid who had Alexa, but he was, like, such a dick. He would, like, mm. scream Alexa, and I was, like, this bitch. Learn how to- <laughs> what a weird <laughs> dynamic. What, yeah. like, it's so, it probably reflects something, uh, not great in, in like the yeah. development of like oh this is something i can scream at and won't scream back at me right mm-hmm. yeah and he was like play the dumb truck song and then i played this dirty rap song about butts and i was like yeah. oh he was like i liked it i was like nope don't tell your mom that played oh i don't know what the dumb truck song is but i'll google it kid's song and find it <laughs> like it is gonna google it, it the kid doesn't have to google it the kid could just go, Alexa, what was that song that was played three songs ago? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, those kids. <laughs> Alexa's like, oh, I'll email it to you and I'll tell you as well. Uh, what other information you want? <laughs> want me to play it right now? <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> so yeah, we got to be careful. But like, yeah, I, I feel you with that. Yeah, the uh, parental control is really important. And um, yes, and we'll have robot dogs and, you know, the kids can control those robot dogs. Like, you can't tell me what to do anymore. (laughs) For real. It's happening. (laughs) So you got to be careful. So, um, (laughs) so, so uh, Amanda, with the IT person, I I really love, I, (laughs) just a laid back, yeah, Greg is just so just like, yeah, well, well, hey, this is what you got to do, you know, like, kind of. Like, like, um, why you went to that route, like, um, that character? Um, I, yeah, I just wanted someone who, like, also didn't really know what the fuck they were doing, trying to mm-hmm. help some a funny concept to me, and someone who's, like, getting distracted by, like, side questions that have nothing to do with anything is also funny to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've been on a lot of calls where people aren't helpful, so for someone to be, like, super not helpful, but really kind, it's like, how do you get yeah. mad at them? And then mm-hmm. we ended up friends <laughs> that's like yeah a- they were like kind of weirdly similar people a little bit like, yeah uh, <laughs> I, I i was thinking i got a little like bob sense with greg a little bit because you were just really like deep to like with the internet like deleting and stuff like that or the internet and stuff you know and uh <laughs> and more other examples so, like i was just like okay um <laughs> yeah like i was just like I, I i love how like uh yeah just like all these different like like advice especially when the call has been recorded I, i'm not sure if you knew that i'm no, just kidding uh who knows you know <laughs> so i was just like man that's a that's a friend right there you know <laughs> but man that was really good and uh yeah i got a lot of details that helped me kind of find weird side questions 
too. So <laughs> yeah, thanks for <laughs> like the neck beard. Uh, like yeah, make sure like just look under. Yeah, you gotta make sure. Look I would love chin. to call back for IT help with my son's neck beard. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, man. Pretty patchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, you see, yeah, like you can ask because you want to sell Reddit. But like he was seven, and I was like, oh, good. I love that. That was my favorite part. But um, yeah, this this was a lot of fun to see. Both of y'all had, you know, I have experience like, you know, um, improvising. So I was just like, this is going to be a really great call. And yeah. Fun. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks, Jared. Yeah, thanks. We're uh, yeah, yeah. It was really fun. Have, so, have you have you done? Uh, I don't know your improv background. Have you done some I, improv stuff? I paid a lot of money for this. Oh, it's Second City. Nice. Yeah, I did that, and I've been trying to like incorporate it more in like stand up and riffing and crowd work, and even just like more character stuff, like getting more into accounts because it's really fun and like using the space and just going like in the moment and stuff. I haven't done improv in probably like eight years or something. But I'm like curious about it. I would like to have thought about doing more stuff in Portland. So on my mind. I know some improv spots. In <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Amanda, you did a great job. Um, you know, like definitely that's something like uh, you can, um, you know, of course, with, with stand up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I seen you, I seen you incorporated um, a bit and stuff. Or, are always great improvisers, almost yeah. always. It's yeah. Because they like, they, they're, they're very present already because yeah. that's they have to be able to like talk to audiences and like they, they understand that if something is happening in your set you need to acknowledge it before mm-hmm. you can get to your jokes yeah you know and so like I think mm-hmm. that there's there's just a lens that stand-ups come into improv with that's awesome yeah well I, I do I, I, like, I like I like how you said almost um good at improvising because there are some with the index cards you're just like yeah <laughs> Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> but yeah, but um, speaking about uh, yeah, um, with all the comedy and everything, where where can we find uh, um, like um, um, things about comedy? Maybe improvising uh, mm. um, um, opportunities. Dylan, yeah, intent for sure. Uh, <laughs> I help run a theater called Kickstand Comedy here in Portland. We're a nonprofit comedy theater. You can check out like shows and classes and all that info at kickstandcomedy.org. But right now we are doing every other week shows at Honey Latte Cafe. It's kind of okay. a sh- smorgasbord of kind of our, some of our flagship shows like Secret Aardvark, which is like a big improv show, student showcases, development mm-hmm. shows, stand up. So doing that. And then this summer we'll bring Comedy in the Park back to <gasps> North Park. So oh, yeah. Be really fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then there's just all sorts of other stuff on the website. It's readable oh. yeah. using a phone or a PC. <laughs> excellent yeah oh uh, man i remember yeah i took some classes there it was uh there was two classes oh he's from mad tv and i forgot his name oh no no yeah he did uh mad tv and he um won the people body award for keen peel um oh, yeah 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 it'll, it'll come back to but the reason the reason i'm, I'm saying all that is because like uh, it was such a great time and um yeah, there was people that like uh, um, I knew, like you know, through co- um, comedy and in, in Portland, and like yeah, it was great uh, time like doing um, classes, like we were doing like the inanimate object like uh, scene op- um class, like where you just gotta like pretend you have an object. I did this great balloon work, baby. Oh man, <laughs> I I pretended yeah, this balloon was oh, this balloon was just oh, it was like ugh. yeah, everyone just like there. And, you, this balloon you made it come to life you know yeah. so the, yeah the power of of space work <laughs> yes yeah space work right right yeah that's that's the work yeah that's um so i want to get back into it so definitely like, i've seen you oh. improvise and like while hosting and stuff especially like comedy the musical like mm. riffing you know i can see you being good at like improv and shit i can already see it and like you're staying up and hosting so yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Um, yeah. Um, well, um, and yeah. Speaking about like uh, doing comedy, and I saw the I see the guitars in the background, Amanda, a little bit. Yeah, what? I remember. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, where can uh, people find you, Amanda? What you got going on? I'm on all the social media at my full name, Amanda Lynn Deal. Um, I host three open mics now: one on Mondays in Vancouver at Underbar, Sundays at uh, Pizza Schmitz on Twenty First in Flanders, and then Haymaker on Thursdays. 
I have co-hosts that help me too. Uh, Juan on Mondays, Angelique on Sundays, and Rachel Miles on Thursdays. So nice. if I'm not there, one of them will be there, and they're all very fantastic. Good lineup of folks. Yeah. yeah. It's nice right. to have. Um, I've been getting a little busier with shows and stuff, so I've been doing things all over Portland, Vancouver. I produce like three shows in Vancouver now, so we're kind of taking over the Vancouver scene, which is where I live, so people mm-hmm. don't cross the bridge, and they live in Vancouver, or they want to go to Vancouver for some reason from Portland. <laughs> we have <laughs> Um, I'm also on like the Rogue Apostles radio show and that's the production company that does a lot of the shows I'm producing in Vancouver and the Smoke Break podcast uh, with St. Thomas on Sundays. Yeah. All right. Awesome. And yeah, that's with Shady Pines or mm-hmm. no, that's no, that's not with Shady Pines. Is, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. And Pretty Dope Experience, which is another Portland uh, local radio show that's Sundays nine to 10, but then it's on Spotify also. Oh, okay. awesome. Yeah. Nice. It's going to the masses. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. Mental health comedy so we do like what are you excited for is what we open with and then we talk mental health subjects and then we end on the joke break where we just riff and talk shit about whatever yeah oh that's good I, I, I like that like it's not like the joke riff like like in the beginning but at the end where you know we're just like all right let's relax a bit <laughs> let it out yeah i like that amanda yeah always um always killing it i um i always enjoy your comedy um and i know you got you got future stuff happening and i you know i i t- yeah your pr team said hey jaren don't talk about it and i was just like okay <laughs> I, all right you got a good pr team um yeah so i i promise i won't say anything so thank you all again uh dylan great job amanda thank, thank you. you so much um yeah this has been yeah the IT desk. Uh, yeah, I changed the name. It's not IT pod desk. Uh, someone told me, <laughs> someone told me like it's like Facebook, like from social network. I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> so, like you know how they say like the Facebook, but yeah, this is more yeah. sleek. So IT desk. Thank y'all. I like it. Yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Hope to have y'all back again. Um, this is just season nice. two, and hope to do it again. All right. Oh yeah, thank you. That was super fun. Thanks all y'all. Right. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye.